All right, guys, here we go. Friday the 10th, looking at the two minute chart of AMD Advanced Micro Devices. We're looking at taking a, a short position on, on margin, of course, uh, with AMD. Uh, we're on a strong time count, number one. Number two, we're getting a little extended above the 20. And then we have this little high pivot previous uh, uh, resistance because, you know, we tried to, you know, price tried to. Put in a green candle and then reverse up instead it obviously pivoted to back to the downside and let me get ready here if we fall back through that zone we'll take that uh short position and uh like i said we're on a strong time count and then the next ooh, short ah I'm a, man i might have missed it well you're not gonna get get it perfect when it comes through there but anyway if we reverse and come back up here i'll take it at this uh gap support there where it gapped down and we did have a nice little sell-off candle here reversal candle see the wick boom 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 then we got back under resistance so here we are see if we can't pull back into i'll just use this real quick this zone where we have some consolidation for a while and uh maybe the 20 will be pulling back up there and anyway got another minute 20 something seconds so let me put you on pause we'll pick it up when the price action picks up see if it's just going to stall or if we're going to roll back over <laughs> you know just and then in the meantime well, I'll keep you on here. In the meantime, see this low here and this high up here. Basically, if you think about it, that's just one big red candle. Okay. And uh, that's what we're trying to, well, right now anyway, that's what Paz is trying to come back up into. And then I'm trying to just judge this on my eye, this level here, and then this level here. So you take that candle, you divide it into three sections, you know, one, two, three. And then we're in this zone right here, you know, about halfway through it, if you think about it. And then this upper third. So we'll see if that's enough push to get it to, you know, reverse. I don't, you know, we're already above this bottom third here uh, you know obviously so that increases the odds probability you know that you're going to continue up to the next third which it has almost perfectly but I just want to just a slight I mean we could come back up here to, to this area here in a heartbeat but I'm trying to catch the little pullback here you know we consolidated ran up consolidated ran up and I'm looking for that next, you know, little pullback, so to speak. Okay, here we go. Here we go. See, we can't come into that uh, blue dash line here. Okay, there's 200. If we get to 200 again, I might just go ahead and pull the trigger. Let's just see what the spy's doing to... S&P 500, okay. But see, it has all this consolidation, though, right here, which we're somewhat under it now. If we break that 20, let me get that out of the way. Really, this little pivot right there. Yeah, if we do that, yeah, we'll pull back. We should pull back in here. Hopefully, you can see these lines I'm putting on there. Uh, and then that'll, oh, see, it's gaining a little. Let's see, we got 30 something seconds. Let's go back to AMD. See, it's popping up too. Should have taken that 200 while I had it. But we'll see. And that will be a very shallow pullback if it just, you know, like puts in this. There we go, there's 200. So let's see if we can't hit this support again for it. What do we got here? Seven seconds. 
Let's see if we can't get another nice little candle in there. Here we go. We just popped a new one, but you know, it didn't roll over real quick. I'm uh, a little cautious of those that, you know, the candle closes and then you sit there and kind of hang out a minute. You know, it's green. It's red now, of course, but okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see. Here we go. A little push. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, there we go. We're out. We're out. We're out. We came down into that. Now we can, yeah, we can definitely go through it, but I thought we'd get a little, you know, uh, support there. And this works, you know, daily, weekly. It was a little two minute chart just because, you know, they're putting in too many candles real, real quick. So you don't have to sit here all day like you would on a daily chart in order to explain this. You know, it just boom, boom, boom happens. And here we go. Man, it just stayed in there. But you never know. Just like, you know, just like that, it might be holding this support line. But see, previous resistance, 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 and it got over it, uh, is now uh, support. But just as I said support, this thing went you know, right through it. So let's see, 35 seconds. Let's see, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens over the next 30 seconds if we hold that blue line or it comes down and hits to 20, which is, you know, kind of an expectation as well. See this whole area here. Well, man, I can't do this very well. You can combine that into thirds, you know, one, two, you know, it's staying in the upper third, so that's pretty positive. It can turn here, just do a shallow pull back, then it can take out that high a lot easier than if it had to come down, you know, into the you know, middle or lower third, of it. you know, not, you know, that's just obvious. All right, guys, I don't want to take it more of your time. We will see you on the charts.